My name is Giovanni Estella. I'm an amateur that's turning pro. I, I'm supposed to be turning pro hopefully in the next month or two. I'm developing my pro style, getting more into it. Um, I've, I finished amateurs with 72 fights, uh, five-time national sugar bird champion. Uh, but for the last four years, I've been number one in Florida in each weight division I was at. Uh, everything's been going good in the amateurs. Now it's time to move it to the pros. There's a lot, a lot, a little, little bit of movements to, to change, a little bit of uh, punches to change, and a lot of um, hard work. That's it. That's what's gonna get you to where you want to be. Um, a lot of training. We came down to Centeno's gym in, in Miami. I came out for sparring, training, sparring. Um, we did six rounds yesterday with Nika and Xander, two upcoming prospects from Top Rank. And on um, Saturday we're gonna do six rounds as well. Me and Xander do great work. Great friend of mine. And um, can't wait. Uh, I'm I'm ecstatic. Can't wait for it. So stepping into the pro side of training, I've learned to keep my distance more, um, snap my punches, and keep keep people at the end of your reach. Because if you if you get too in, when you can get caught while you're throwing a, in the middle of a punch, and to keep your keep your feet more spread out, keep your center of center of balance, and your set your head off the center. Um, it's it's a big difference from the amateurs. It's a lot about points in the amateurs and who works more. And um, the pros, it's about who's more precise, who's more strong. Like. It's a lot about technique in the professionals. So, I'm learning a lot over here. How is the conditioning different from the, uh, the, the amateur? Because I know the conditioning yeah. here is really intense. How hard are you holding up on the back? The conditioning and the, and the training for the conditioning is, is really hard. It's, it's great. It's great conditioning because the harder the better, the, the more results you get. So, um, today was my first time on the bike and I loved it. It was the sprints. It, it was hard, but it was great work. I was hoping for those 20 seconds of break and then 10 seconds of sprint. 20 seconds of break, 10 seconds of sprint. So it was great work with Coach Centeno. Um, I, I think I'm very thankful for, for all the work he's been giving me and um, all the work that Xander and Nika has been giving me. I'm very thankful. You have a lot of lessons uh, taken back home to these parts of your Oh, yeah. Um, here up in Orlando. Most definitely. I'm, I'm definitely like, I'm, I'm like a sponge over here. I'm, I'm here to learn. So I, I didn't come over here thinking I'm the smartest person in the room. I, it's better to be the dumbest person in the room and learn, learn why you, why you, uh, learn from your peers. So um, it's, I, I'm pretty much coming here like a sponge. I wanna, I wanna learn any, everything, anything and everything. How to lose weight better, easier, faster. How to gain more, more stamina for the fights, more conditioning. So um, anything they're teaching me, I'm, I'm keeping it and I'm locking it up in my head for, for the next time. And when I get back home, I'll teach it to my peers. And my coach, and we'll get it. We'll get it situated over there. Um, you said you would be positive, looking for the end of the year to, to turn pro. Yeah. You know, um, about like how long? So I'm looking. So I've been boxing since I was nine years old, and I, I just turned 20. So it's been about 11 years of me boxing um, as an amateur. So now, uh, this year marks the year that I turn professional. Hopefully, in either late September or early November, I should be turning professional. And um, there's a card on in Orlando. The Anthony Arvello card, the undisputed card, and um, if I don't dis um, from if I don't do do my pro debut in September, I'll be doing my pro debut in Orlando, in my hometown. Awesome! I know you have a great um, fan base there in Orlando, yeah. so is, is it better to just stick close to home so you can get that yeah. moral support, you know? Yeah. And hopefully that by that time the gates will be the open crowd can come in and, and stuff. Like little, you get a little crowd in the arena. Yeah. Uh, Venue, yeah, so that'd be great. If I did, if I do do my my pro debut, either way, I'm gonna be fighting on that card. I, I'm very looking forward to, to fighting on that card. But if I do my pro debut, or if it's a if it's a my second pro fight, I'm looking forward to, to fighting on that card, selling out all my tickets. Like, if we can have a crowd, I'll bring the crowd to Orlando, most definitely. Tell the boxing world why they should look out for you. So the boxing world should look out for me in in 2020, 2021. I'm gonna be fighting professionally. I'm gonna be showing my technique, showing my, my skills, all the years we've, we've been working for it. Now it's, now it's time to, to actually put them into demand, put them, put them into the fights and work as a professional. Get, get these fights going, can't wait. My name is Giovanni Estella and I come from Impact Boxing in Orlando, Florida. I'm ready to fight.